Hey, good morning. <sighs> hot, hot, crazy hot out. Um, went out for a few minutes anyway, tried to stick in the shade, but five minutes in the shade is nice, but when you're in and out of the shade, or if you're out there more than five minutes, it's just hot <laughs> and muggy. So there's a <clears throat> um, heat advisory out again all week. Um, <sighs> another busy day in the office. So I'm gonna try to motivate myself into getting on my getting off my duff. Get off my duff. I took out a foundation the other day that was just a little darker and I had to put it back. I can't believe it's the beginning of August and I'm not sporting my usual tan, which is about as dark as my arm. <laughs> I didn't get a tan this year. <clears throat> so, um, crapola. My face is nice and moist though from being outside. Oh, oh, and yes. I was asked a question. I remember the question. I don't remember the name. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna answer my messages today. I have been so lax about that and I'm sorry. Um, just my clients have kept me busy. A lot going on. That's summer for you. I know you're snooping in my new makeup bins. Don't do that. Do not. Do that. Hold on, guys. I gotta get a hold of my dog. So these cute little compartments on the top of these things may not work out as well as I <clears throat> thought they <coughs> excuse me would. Because now he's snooping over in there. And he has gotten things. That's shoes. Gloves. Oh, what did he get? You know, I got a couple packages of these fake nails. And I, I'm going to use them one of these days. But I put on some French tips. Um, and they were just a little too long. They are just too long. Um, and my natural nail beds look about that good anyway. But I... I think it's too late to return them is the problem. So, or you have to pay for shipping if you've already returned something and I couldn't make up my mind on whether I wanted to return it or not. So there you go. They're probably like no more than $1.50 a pack, probably less than that. Get away from there, Frankie. Why? Why? Well, I finally took the hose off because that just was upsetting. So I'm going to figure out how to use this without it. The old fashioned way. Back when I was young, we had Cover Girl. That's what we used. Um, and this is how you got it out. That's for sure. A matter of fact, uh, I didn't know this, but I learned recently that CoverGirl and CoverGirl Clean Makeup are still one of the most popular unsung heroes out there. Kind of like my my mascara. So I was thinking about trying it again. If any of y'all try it, let me know. Um, I remember it smelling like Noxzema. So when I got to wear makeup that didn't smell like 
Noxzema. Ooh, I felt like I grew up. Remember Noxzema? We'd put it on sunburns, any kind of skin irritation. I wonder if you can even get Noxzema anymore. I haven't seen it or heard about it in ages, but it was... You don't hear about rubbing alcohol or peroxide anymore. What else did we use back then? Do you remember? Hey, Frankie. Hey, Frankie. What are you doing down there? He is, he has just turned to, into a velvet I am serious. He will sit under my desk or on the chair beside me. for hours and hours at work, all day long. Oh, I don't mind. There for a little while, I felt a little guilty. But you know what? If he wants to be around me that much, why would I feel guilty? That's what I decided. I had to get over that because you know, it's, it's easy to slip into feeling guilty about silly little things or things that have nothing to do with us. You know, when you're raised in a way that made you responsible, how could you do that? How could you let that happen? Why didn't you have your eyes open? You could have prevented this, you know, that kind of thing. Um, then you kind of bring it into your adult life. You slid under. Oh, you're so freaking cute, Frankie. He slid under the, he, can, he has to get low to slide under this bed. It's so funny. <coughs> and, um, it's easy to carry that into your adult life. And, and then you're having conversations that are untrue, basically. Like, oh, I feel so bad that my dog loves me so much. It's like, how does that even make sense, right? Or someone tries to blame you for something and you apologize. So that's an untruth as well, right? If you're held responsible for something that isn't true, It's a lot of things, manipulation, um, someone who's being passive aggressive, maybe someone who, who has some problems taking responsibility, maybe a narcissist, I don't know. But the truth is, once we get in our brain, that we're able to be used basically as someone else's toilet paper. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I don't even remember where I got these. Oh, if I can't pronounce the name, I know I got it from Timu. There you go. I don't have much time, but I'm gonna dink with this anyway. Is that it's one of those liquid eyeshadows. Yeah, thanks to Rose. <laughs> I decided, was it Rose? I'm pretty sure. She's the only one I think I watch anymore that, that does makeup. Just because I love Rose, not because I'm gonna go buy all that fancy makeup. Sure, man, how can you be past 40 and be that beautiful? Holy cow, all those wonder machines she's using are working, huh? Hmm. I like the natural look, but on camera I have to wear a little more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one more time. I keep trying this powder. Cody, I, I go back to it because I love the brush that I have. <laughs> And I love the mixture. I got I mixed two 
loose powders, Cody and CoverGirl. And I got this great big beautiful brush off of Timu. I need to order another one. I'll bring it down. It just feels so darn good. And it looks good in, na in natural. On the camera though, it shines like I'm effervescent. And I don't like that, but I'm gonna try it again today. And if it doesn't work, then I'll only use it on off days. I'll quit jacking around. Have that. Uh, so how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? <laughs> haven't, uh, I've been pouting. You, you've heard me about this weather being so hot and muggy. And um, <clears throat> I had decided a few days ago I was going to quit my complaining. Just stop it. So... <laughs> I decided to quit complaining and I was looking out of my bathroom my bathroom window <clears throat> you know because I'm sitting down and I'm looking up out of the window and it looks like I'm s and all of a sudden it's such a beautiful blue sky but I don't see much of it I see all these leaves off these big trees up in my backyard and I sat there and I thought I feel like I'm in a tree house so there are some good things about the hot humidity. If you don't, if you don't go crazy with cabin fever, right? Okay, how do I do this? <laughs> how do I get these wrinkles out of my way? When I finally realized that I could do this by just resting my, that went down too far. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> too much fun. Oh my God. Here's too much fun. Um, so anyway, I've kept, I've got the, my little cabin. It's really ranch style home, but I call it my little cabin. Um, I've been keeping it closed up because the humidity and the heat concern me as far as the electric bill goes but as far as how hard my AC is working, because my AC is original, I think. So I'm trying not to, I'm trying to do what I can to save it some work. I don't know if it's working. But I can tell you that because I put up that blind in the kitchen, wow, it has cut down on the heat in the kitchen tremendously. I'm so impressed with myself. <laughs> ah. <coughs> so proud of myself. I'm gonna use this in my eyebrows just for fun. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's a little dark. My eyebrows are so thin. Okay, so I'm gonna smooth them out maybe.
girl, let's see. That's crazy, right? I really like that color. We'll see how it looks on the camera at work. Oh man, I need to tweeze these crazy eyebrows again. I'll tell you what, it takes forever to cool off a little bit. I need more eyeshadow. I need to soften up that eyeliner a little bit. I've been doing that lately and I feel like it, it, it matches me better. It's not quite as dramatic as the cold black. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Oh, I just got specs. I don't care. I think I'm gonna leave the specs. No, I'm not. You ever do that? You think, it's just not worth working that hard. Uh, one more day. One more day of hitting it hard like this. One more day. And then I am going to go to the mall. And watch a movie. I don't care what's on. I've done that before and it doesn't always work out. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, I just need to get out of the house. I, I went to a friend's house last Saturday and I had so much fun. I thought my depression was getting kind of heavy for me, heavier than usual, but boy, I just blossomed that day. I blossomed, it was, it was great. So it's not a serious depression. It's a situational depression. You know, so close. Yeah, if I mix these two, it's better. A little mascara, and I might have to just go to work like this. I can't seem to cool off. So I'm going to be wearing, I'm going to go kind of look like Aunt Jemima. I always love the look of, what a comforting, what a comforting image Aunt Jemima was. Look, I just did it myself. <laughs> what little kid didn't love seeing an Aunt Jemima bottle on their breakfast table? or breakfast for dinner table. I love having breakfast for dinner. That eyeliner can really get in the way of mascara, I can tell you that. So watch it. All right, I just wanted to say hi. I just wanted your company. All right, love you, bye for now.